got something that I found uh, very interesting. It's like uh, I had one of the comments uh, saying about it. The uh, and like uh, it drew my attention to it quite a lot more. That uh, uh, it doesn't matter what frequency I use. I can change the frequency. But if I was to uh, move the DC offset, you can make it go one side or the other side. I find that very interesting. Now, uh, I'm pretty certain that uh, if you orientated the magnet in such a way and then altered the DC offset you could get this to spin but uh, I think that's something for another video so at the moment all I'm doing is uh, dangling this magnet down so it's, uh, it's freely uh, there in between the coil and then offset one side Offset the other side, offset slightly off, and slightly to the other side now. You can actually do that in a controlled fashion. Now I think that's definitely interesting, and uh, the there must be a use for that. I haven't thought of one yet, but uh, there's always more to come, isn't there? So uh, I'm going to try this with a uh, a, a pin now with a uh, magnet on it to see if it uh, does any difference. Well, I was going to try this with a pin. Although, uh, something I found that was uh, a little bit more interesting was uh, if you can see the orientation of the magnet towards which particular coil it's on, it's at that one at the moment and not what's at the 120 or the other 121. And it goes left and right to them two coils. Now I'm pretty certain that you could get that magnet to arrange at any point within that circle in the centre through these three phases. Right. And the reason I think this is true is because uh, if I was to move the coil, the uh, the magnet always wants to align with where the coil starts and finishes and we'll still have the same effect of moving towards or away so if I bring that back around again now and then do it again to one side to the side. We're getting a very interesting effect here. Now uh, I'm still going with the charging on this although uh, this is a very interesting effect and I thought that uh, everyone would might like to see this. Not sure if you can see this correctly but like uh, when I move the DC offset all the way one way the red will touch the actual uh, rim of the compass and when I want to turn it all the other way the black wheel can you see the uh, the movement there I thought that was quite interesting as well and uh, that's great then thanks for watching